appreciate it. Um, even you guys in replay, like say, hey, hello from the replay, or whatever you want to say. But welcome to my kitchen. We're making pesto today. Uh, you guys might be watching me. Let me know where you're watching from, actually. Um, what I love about HAPS, you guys are watching me. I'm actually broadcasting from HAPS. It broadcasts over to Twitter, um, through... I even have YouTube now, guys. I'm going to have to make up some YouTube for that. You guys might be seeing me on YouTube. I don't know. Um, but I think it automatically goes onto YouTube. This is all, I'm still in the experimental phase of hats. Um, but I really like it, actually. So we're going to be making fresh pesto, which is super, super easy to make. Um, yeah. If you guys are new here, my name is Christine. I'm American, but I live in Switzerland. And I like, love to cook. Um, we love, I love to cook. My husband loves to cook, um, but we're on a budget, number one, and we don't like to eat processed food. So we make pretty much everything from scratch. Not everything. Okay, I'm not like Martha Stewart, uh, but we do like to make a lot of things from scratch. -y scratch. So mm. now I did a, I did a, a broadcast earlier. We were walking um, down into the old town to go to the market, and my broadcast just cut. It just crashed. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I did not send out the Pablo bat signal as, um, I just, I left it, but I did pick up something really great. Now, if you guys have seen on Fridays, you guys can join me always on Friday for Farmer Box Friday. Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining. So on Friday, we have Farmer Box Friday here, which means, um, we get a subscription every week of local produce from like a co-op of farmers and we never what we never know what we're going to get so that's coming tomorrow so i went to the vegetable market today i wasn't really looking for anything i just wanted to kind of look um and it was thursday on thursday there's just a couple of stands but i did find this um and we're going to make some pesto out of it oh it's going to be gorgeous actually i can show you what it's, it's going to look like this is my husband's version um, we're going to be making this actually. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but oh, let me push on my refrigerator. This is wild garlic. Now, I am from the US. I did not know wild garlic when I was living there. So, this grows now. This is in season. It's just right now. It's for about another two weeks. This is called Bärlauch in German, and it's Bärlauch season. Now, um, I like to forage uh, a few things um, in our area, but if, if you see something like this and you're not sure, leave it, okay? But here's here's the clue that it's bare lock. You're gonna break it open, and it smells like garlic. It smells like garlic. This stuff is so good for you. It's first, it's delicious. It's like it's like a kind of like a um, like a fresh garlic hot pesto. Oh. It's so I I I love this stuff. My husband's would be really good. Like what? When he sees that I bought a whole, because we actually um, picked some last week, no, a few days ago, and he made this pesto. This is his version. Now, oh, it's so gorgeous. Me and Mr. Zen, we always have this little competition going on. Who makes the better version of different dishes? This is his pesto. It's a bit thick, but he adds some of the pasta cooking water to him. I'm gonna make my own version today. And you never do the taste test. So I'm gonna go and get rolling though because it's 11:24 in the afternoon here. We're right before lunch, not afternoon. Um, and I want to get this done. So where are you guys watching from? Um, even I love hats because even in the replay, you guys can comment, you can give reactions like thumbs up or hearts or hugs or whatever you want to do. You guys can ask questions as well. I, I, I this is what I'm really a big fan of hats. Um, you guys can ask questions and I can even come back and read your comments after and answer them. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And I can, you can post things like, it's a, bit, it's a bit like Instagram, Facebook and, and another streaming Periscope maybe. It's a little bit different. Oh, took some, took some getting used to, I'll be honest, but I love the features on here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now I cook, I love to cook. I Unfortunately, I don't really have a recipe for this. Okay, I go by handfuls and splashes. Now, don't be afraid to try something new. Now, I've got a lot of bare lamps here, but we're going to be adding all of this. I've already washed it. Okay, 
I'm gonna I am gonna dry it real quick though. Kind of just I'm gonna pat it. I got a little kitchen towel here. I'm gonna pat it dry. It doesn't have to be absolute dry. You just don't want it sucking. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. And I'm gonna be using it for blender. My husband, he's old school. He uses the mortar and pestle to make pesto, but I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that. Mr. Zen. Now you can also shake it a little bit. Spin it, I mean, and water's gonna splash out. Okay, I'm getting water everywhere, but that's all right. We don't want water, we don't want watery pesto. Let me get it out. We do not want a watery pesto. So I'm just gonna kind of dab it on the top. Pat it down, be very gentle. Hey, welcome guys. Thanks for joining. Welcome to Switzerland. Where are you guys watching from? I love I love this live stream because you guys have got people all over the world. So can you guys see that all right? Let me move you down a little bit. It's a multi-culti, multi, -culti, multi Okay, so I'm going to be drying this off. This is my bear lauf. Now, bear lauf is wild garlic. I got this actually at the market. Um, we have been... But you can pick it also. We, we picked some to make this pesto last week. What is today? You know, do you guys have that problem? Do you know what day it is? It is Thursday. Oh, yeah, this was on... Uh, oh, yeah, it was on Sunday. Okay, so I'm just kind of patting it dry. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry. I just don't want any, you know, like big chunks of water. I could have put this in the salad spinner. It would have been probably quite good. But I'm a little bit nervous, guys. I'm a bit nervous here broadcasting live. It always makes me nervous. That's the thing. You never know what's going to happen. So if I could, like, see, like, a hello or something, it made me really feel a lot more comfortable, I can tell you. Just let me know who's watching. Somebody's watching me. So you got to look at your little stick. So you know this is really from the nature. Um, oh, this stuff smells so good. It's like garlic. It is. It, it is. It is garlic. It is, they call it bear bear lauf as the German. It's fresh garlic, wild garlic, I guess it's called. So now I've already got the oven on. I've got the pasta water cooking. In fact, it's boiling already. I'm going to turn that down. Turn that off because I'm not ready for the pasta. Water. The oven is not on. I forgot to turn on the oven. Okay, well that's okay. We're, we're gonna use the oven to now pesto basically let me just kind of move you guys up. Hi! Pesto is really just like any kind of herbs. You can make pesto out of basil. That's the most common one you've seen probably. Um, it just means paste. Okay, so you've got um, basil pesto, you've probably seen sun-dried tomato pesto, those are really common, popular ones. You can make pesto out of any spinach pesto, you can even make um Carrot top pesto. Now I would mat, I would I would mix the carrot tops with a little bit of basil, um, just to kind of because it's by itself it's a little bit hard to sell. But a pesto, you always have some kind of ingredient. You have like a, a fresh herb or sun dried tomatoes or whatever you're using. You have some kind of nut. They're not like a nut job, but like a, a noose, a noose, a nut. Um, normally it's going to be pine nuts. We don't have any pine nuts. And I really want to use what we have first. I always try to use, and plus I want to try something. You could use walnuts. You could use almonds. I actually have raw peanuts, which I'm going to toast. Um, it's I've never done this before, so we're going to try it. And if I need some more, I've got some ground almonds. I can also toast them. So a pesto always has your herb or whatever you're using, your tomato or whatever. Um, nuts, olive oil. Okay, you got to have olive oil. And Parmesan cheese. Now, I've got the chunky Parmesan cheese. I would recommend not using the shaky Parmesan cheese that's already blended. If that's all you have and you really want to try this, then do it and comment below. Let me know how that works out. Um, nothing against the craft shaky cheese, okay? I don't want any craft people coming after me. But I just love the, the block cheese. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's night and day. It's apples and oranges. Um, the difference. So we got to get that out of. So we're gonna be using fresh. Well, not fresh. Parmesan is aged, actually. Um, aged. This was from. Oh, this is 22 months. This is 22 months old. Hey, Poppy, mommy. 
The only time I'm in the kitchen is when I'm cooking crystal. Okay. Is that so? No, it's not, Poppin. Um, hey, Debbie. Hi. Good morning. Uh, no, no, no soap here. We're making pesto today. Debbie, how are you doing? How are you doing? So we're getting everything ready. I've got my cheese. I've got my wild garlic, olive oil, um, nuts, which I'm going to be actually toasting. Okay, in a perfect world, you would have some fresh lemon. I get lemons every week, olive oil defo. Yeah, and I've got the pasta water already ready. But I don't have any. I, we get three lemons a week, and I've already used, like, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to use a splash of this. This is that concentrate. Not the best option, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. And at the end, we're going to have this. this. Now, this is my husband's version. He made pesto um, earlier this week. This is his version. It's gorgeous. Um, yes, use real lemon. The real lemon is better, but I don't have it, so we're just going to use what I got. This is his version, and it's really good, but we're always in a little bit of competition, so I'm going to do my hand and see how it stacks up. All right? So, okay, how are you and the family? We're good. We're good. Uh, we are, well, just hanging in there, you know, hanging in there like everybody else. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to toast those nuts. We could actually toast the, the peanuts. <laughs> All right, so let me put that on high. I will bring you guys over in a second, and you're going to be dry roasting them. Okay, I use real lemon. Yeah, real lemon. I love lemon, I use it on everything, and that's the problem because tomorrow we get our farmer box. So, if you guys aren't watching, if you guys aren't subscribing, subscribe if you like vegetables and fruits because tomorrow we're getting our um, hey, thank you. Hi, thank you. Hi, Ward. Hello, Debbie. Um, I'm not a chef, actually. I'm just a hobby cook. Um, do I know Walter White? No, I don't. Pop in. I know that. I know that show, but I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that kind of chef. Um, we're gonna be dry roasting these nuts, though. All right. Um, and I don't have any measurements. We're gonna use two handfuls. We're gonna taste it, see how that works, and then if we need more nuts, we've got some ground almonds. Oh, yeah, almonds. Perfect. You can use whatever nuts you have, all right? The, the traditional one is going to be with pine nuts, but like I said before, I don't have any of those. So I'm going to take you guys over here to the stove. Let me see. I need to get me a tripod is what I need. That's what I need. So I'm going to be sending you guys on boxes, all right? So don't worry. I'm moving you. Are you okay? You're moving. There we go. Can you see my pan? <laughs> this is my homemade version. Hold on. Whoa. You can see my hold on guys. Let me let me get you some to you. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. You're tangled up. Sorry. You guys getting dizzy. Okay, so I've got my hot pan. It's hot. Alright. You guys see okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead. Let's say these are just raw peanuts. They're not toasted. Uh, I've got one giant handful. I'm going to need some more nuts, I think. I'm going to use one, one giant handful in here. Is it good? Thanks, Dad. I'm just going to shake them every time. You don't want them to burn. You're going to just, you're going to be toasting them just until you start to smell, smell. You're going to start to smell that um, the oil's release. It's going to start to smell like, like, well, like roasted peanuts. It's going to smell pretty dang good. And then we're going to add, we're going to toast some of that hazelnut. The reason you toast it, actually, is just to bring out the oils and bring out the flavor. So if you were using pine nuts, you would have raw pine nuts. Walnuts work really, really good. Pecans, oh my gosh, you can do, I mean, you can do any kind of nuts. The traditional Italian way is using pine nuts. One thing, yeah, okay, I was in the bus on the way home, and I was thinking, okay, how am I going to make this? Because I could go to the store and get pine nuts, but they're like 11 francs for a little tiny bag, and we have nuts already at home. So I was like, okay, we're just going to, we're just going to, yeah, keep our budget low. Okay, so you see they're starting to toast a little bit. 
right? And that's hot. Ouch, that is a hot nut. Hot peanut. You don't want it, you, I gotta be careful, you don't want it to burn. You're almost done. Okay, you don't want it to burn because then it's gonna give it a burnt taste with your pesto. Okay, we're gonna take those out of the pan. And this is dry, there's no oil in there, okay? Now, I'm gonna add a little bit. I have this ground almond, because I think I'm gonna need some more. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there too. Because uh, it needs a little bit more nutty flavor. Well, this one's gonna need a little spoon. Oh yeah, see? Oh, it smells like toasted almonds. That is, oh, that's gorgeous. So I'm just using whatever I got in my roof in my, not my in my in my pantry. Now you guys can make this at home. This is easy. Okay, you see it's starting to brown. We're gonna take it off the heat already because we don't want it to burn. You see it's turning brown. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Take it off immediately before it burns. That stuff will burn and you blink twice and it burns. Okay, put that off to the side. All right, now I'm going to pick you guys up and take you back over to where you were. So hold on to your hats. Whee. Okay, sorry. There we go. So I've got you all taken. So I've got the. I've got. I have got you on a chair. I need. I have got to get me a. What do you call it? A um, tripod. A bigger one. You're on a little tiny one. Okay. How you guys doing? How you doing? That's the bowl of nuts. Yeah, that's what you're looking at right there. The bowl of nuts. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Let's move this over here. And then, then that's it. That's really the only cooking, aside from cooking the pasta that you're going to use. Let me move you up here for a second. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to be doing everything else in the blender. That's it. That's it. So let me just go over the ingredients really quick. We need salt. I forgot my salt. Forgot my salt. Okay. So we've got... Oh wait, I need to, I need to, to, um, oh, hold on, let me, let me, let me, you can see a little bit. Hello, everybody, where are you guys watching from? Are you guys on Twitter? Are you on Haps? Are you guys on YouTube? Are you even on Periscope? Some of you guys might even be still in the ghost ship of Periscope. So here I've got lots of fresh garlic, wild garlic. This is wild garlic. We're making wild garlic pesto. You can make it with any herb you want. Fresh basil is the most common one. Um, so if you guys have a farmer's market with a big basket of basil, grab it, okay? Grab it immediately and take it home and make your um, pesto. So I've got my, now you, this is the same, also, sorry, you can have me. Hmm, how you guys doing? I gotta drink a coffee first. Same method, if you were using spinach, you can use, now the spinach I'd add maybe a, a um, bud of garlic. In German, they call it a toe of garlic, which is creepy. But um, you can make it with spinach. You can make it with sun-dried tomatoes. It's so easy. And the little jar of the stuff you guys get in the store, I promise, it's not as good. It's not going to be as good. I'm sorry. I love you. Whatever companies make that, but nope, you can't do it as good as you can at home. So you need like a, you know, we need some handfuls of this. You need some nuts. Pine nuts, almonds, walnuts, pecans, whatever. I've got peanuts. You're going to roast them. Some Parmesan cheese, which we're going to shred right now because i got to have it for my pesto. And, and, and citrus. Now, fresh lemon is better. I don't have any. Tomorrow we're getting our delivery. I've already used all the lemons from this weekend last week. So i got a little bit of splash of that. That's concentrate. It's all right. We use what we have. And some um, sea salt. And olive oil. You gotta have olive oil. Okay? Are we ready? Let me get some, let me get my cheese grater so we can grate some Parmesan cheese. Let's start. Now I imagine it's probably the middle of the night and like you guys you guys in the US. So are you night owls or are you just already away from the day? 
Now, if you are already, if you are, if you're just laying in bed trying to go to sleep, I don't expect you to type anything. That's all right. Get, get some sleep. Let me lull you to sleep. Let me move that key. Let me lull you to sleep with the sound of fresh grated parmesan. Okay. Let me put this over here. We're going to move our other stuff over here. We don't need it right now. Uh, nuts. Now you could... You know, you can get the Parmesan cheese that's already grated, but it's just not as good. And it always dries out. And they, I think they put, check the ingredients. They probably put stuff in there that, that, that keeps it from sticking together. And it doesn't have this gorgeous Reggiana Parmigiana stamp on it. You use what you have. I mean, honestly, and that's another thing. It is a privilege that we have because we're in Switzerland. We're right next to Italy. So it is easy and accessible like stuff like this. So I recognize that as a privilege. So you guys use what you have. Use what you can get. Use what's in your budget. Use what's available. Okay, that's a lot of cheese. You'll be like, what? That's a lot of cheese. I know, but you know what? It's pesto, all right? We're not going to use all of it. We might. We might not. We're going to taste it as we go. Okay, are we ready to roll? So now is action. We're going to move you guys. Hold on. Hello. We're moving you guys over there to the blender. How you guys doing? Show me some emojis. How you doing? I like it's, what is it, Thursday? It's Thursday. How's your Thursday doing? Okay, now here comes the big move. Hold on, let me get everything ready over here. And you know, it's funny because it's all okay. Are you well, Debbie? Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Good to hear. You know, um, I am a little bit nervous because a very dear, someone very dear to my heart is right now in the hospital getting some tests done. And I went to the hospital, you know, to see if, you know, they needed some company. And I'm not allowed in because of COVID, right? So I'm nervous. I'm like cooking. <laughs> That's what I do. What do you guys do when you're nervous? I'm nervous. So I like, I'm like, okay, I got to make pesto. I got to go to the market. I got to go get some stuff. And what's funny is I, was at, I went to the hospital to walk this, to walk him in. And I walk out and like my middle toe hurts now. So I'm like limping out of the hospital. I got a cramp in my toe and it won't stop. You guys ever get those? Okay. Belinda. All right, we're gonna move you guys over. Let me move my knife. Okay. okay. You guys can see that, all right? That's a good, that's a good setup. Okay, we're just gonna dump everything in. I mean, it's really that easy. If you guys have a food processor, food processors work good too. I'm just using the blender and I'm going to just take, so now you guys know me. If you don't know me, you know me now. I'm not very good at measurements. I'm going to say one giant handful. Okay. Now I'm going to add the nuts, which is one handful of peanuts and uh, half a cup of ground almonds because normally it would be like a giant handful of pine nuts or regular nuts but I only have so many peanuts I wanted to use the rest of that so you can adjust it accordingly start with little handfuls that's that, that's the best thing um now I'm going to add because I'm going to add this also but I'm going to put this on top I'm going to add a good pinch of salt okay you guys need you guys need some some measurements I'm going to add Half a teaspoon of salt. What is that? Half a teaspoon of salt? Three-fourths of a teaspoon? Okay. Now, I'm going to add a dash of lemon, which I normally would be adding fresh lemon. The juice of one lemon plus, plus the um, zest of the lemon, but I don't have it. So we're just using a splash of concentrate. That's okay. Use whatever you got. Now, we're going to add a big handful 
No, 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 not yet. We're going to add. Now, we're going to add a lot of olive oil, so don't panic, all right, because it's got to be liquidy, all right? It's going to be, it's like a paste, all right? And you're not going to use in one plate the whole, the whole thing of pesto. You might because it's going to be so freaking fantastic. Now I'm going to add two good handfuls. You see that? Two good handfuls of grated Parmesan, freshly grated. Oh, uh, guys, this is like that. Oh, my gosh. That is what dreams are made of. Okay, then I'm going to add now the rest. Hold on. Let me see what else. We got salt. We got, yep, yeah, we got everything we need. We got our Parmesan. Now we're going to add more in there, but I just want to start with this to kind of get it going. Okay, now I'm gonna mute you guys for a second so you're not like blasting you out with the blender. Do I have everything? I think I have everything. My husband sometimes adds a fresh clove of garlic. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm gonna try it first and see. Okay, I'm gonna mute you guys for a second, all right? Here we go. Okay, I'm just checking back in. Now, guys, there was nothing wrong with the with the broadcast. I did have you on mute because I'm blending this. So you guys saw I added like two times more olive oil because it was just not it was just not liquidy enough. Now, and I'm, we're gonna have a look real quick and check on it. Okay, so thanks for joining everybody. Where are you guys watching from? You're in Switzerland. You are in Switzerland. So thanks for joining. And this is wild garlic pesto, which you can use this recipe if you want to call it yeah it is a, well i don't have a specific recipe uh but you can use this also oh, oh wow look at that <gasps> that's gorgeous that is gorgeous and i got the whole um uh wild garlic at the market for three francs for a giant bag this is gonna let because see the thing is we're thinning it down i'm gonna we're gonna mix it up again we're thinning it down with olive oil because it's supposed to be like a paste. It's not supposed to be like a thick sauce sitting on top of your pesto. It's just supposed to lightly coat your noodles. And we're going to talk noodles in a second, which noodles are the best. So we're going to blend this up again. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil because I like mine not so thick. Or, you know, it's just a bit too thick. All right. But also remember, I'm going to add... Every time I use this, when we add, I'm going to add a little bit of cooking, a little, the pasta cooking water. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do that, okay? So uh, we're going to add a little bit more. Actually, we should taste it before we do anything. Always taste it. Let's see. What do you guys think? Mmm. And this is so healthy. Wild garlic. Very good for blood cleansing. That's good. 
Mmm. Needs a bit more oil. That's it. Damn, that's good. Excuse my language, but that's good. Mmm. Okay. Let's taste my husband's, though. He did something different. See, we're doing a little silent competition with Mr. Zen. This is Mr. Zen's pesto he made earlier this week. He did something different. What did he do? Let's figure it out. Hold on. Move you over here. This is his version, which is pretty good. He did something. What did he do? Hmm. He's got more Parmesan in it. I think I like mine better. Can I say that? Let's try it. Don't, don't tell him I said that. Mine is better. The test, the taste test is going to be when he comes home for lunch. I'm going to have, we're going to have spaghetti with pesto. And I'm not going to tell him it's mine. I'm going to like hide, I'm going to like wash up the dishes, hopefully. I better, I better hurry when he gets home. So you won't know what you think and see what he says. Because we always have this silent competition going on. Me and Mr. Zen, it's kind of funny. Okay, so we're going to blend, we're going to, we're going to, I don't, I'm happy with that parmesan. I don't really, I don't really, honestly, I don't even know if it needs any more olive oil. Because we're going to be um, adding more, but we do need to blend it up a bit, though. Because it's still got some chunky, chunky peanuts in there. Um, that's perfect, guys. Perfect. Damn. It's gorgeous. I'm sorry, but. Mm. And this, you buy this in the store, this would be like, oh my gosh, how much would this even cost you? One little jar is like seven francs here for pesto. And it's not that good. I'm sorry. But. Can't beat it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on mute again so I don't blast you with the with the blender, okay? So, nothing wrong. Don't, don't adjust your television sets. I'm just going to put you on mute. Okay, you guys almost fell off the counter. Okay, now I'm fixing to move you back over to the stove. So our pesto's ready. We're gonna empty it. Put in a jar. We'll do this one. This is cute. Cute little jar there. And it's going to be funny because we're not going to tell Mr. Zen which pesto is which. So I got to hide that. Oh, sometimes it sticks. There we go. I got to hide the evidence. So I'm going to put the the blender in the dishwasher, and that's it. Like that's I love cooking like this. It's so easy. Like I've already, like not a bunch of dishes to clean up. Oh, I oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I have some of the best idea. Okay, guys, now this is brilliant that I just came up with. But let me explain. Hold on, hold on. Get all this. The pro only problem I I don't like about cooking things in a blender is it's really hard to get all of your product out, right? 
stuff gets stuck at the bottom. And I don't like that because I don't like wasting. Now, I always, um, whenever you're making your pasta, you do always want to reserve like a cup. It depends on how much pasta you're eating, but how much you're making, but like a cup or like a half a cup of pasta water. Always do that. But like, take that out before you strain off of your pasta, because then you can mix it with your sauce and your pasta. And it, just, it just it helps the, the the sauce coat better. It's just better. You know what I do? I'm gonna put that cup of water in here and blend it and get up all that extra pesto, because I don't want to waste any not an ounce of this gorgeous stuff. Put all the flavor you can. This is gonna be good. Okay, so now my next question. I need your help. The water is. Cooking, so here we go. This is this is our pesto. It's nice and creamy, nice and smooth. But my husband's pesto that he made is a little bit chunky because he used the mortar and pestle. He's like old school. Which I am I, I support. I'm totally I support like not a lot of complicated gadgets in the kitchen, but sometimes it's just easier. So hold on. I need to get this everywhere. I am. I'm not doing so good. Hold on. Let's just kind of level it out. Mmm. Guys, it's so good. It's so good. It looks horrendous, but it's top notch, yo. This is going to be good. Now, hold on. I'm clean that off. I don't like to waste anything. Um, woo -woo. And what you're going to do, you're going to see, because this is not, this, oh my gosh, this is going to last us for a long time. Because you're not just going, the thing with pesto is it just has to, Gently coat the noodles, okay? It's not like a big pile of sauce on top of your spaghetti, all right? Now, we're gonna, we're gonna, what we're going to do, we're going to add some of that cooking water in there and blend it up. Oh, yes, I'm licking my fingers, but this is my house, all right? If, I, if you were, like, here, for, if I invited you for lunch, which you're invited, just kidding, weird stalkers, but if you were invited, if you were here, I would not lick my fingers, okay? I promise. All right. Not, not that I have any weird stuff, but just to say, just to throw that that, that disclaimer. Okay, and here's our here's our pesto. Ta da! So this is Zen Squad's pesto, and this is Mr. Zen's pesto. You can see his is very chunky. Mine's a little bit smoother. He used the mortar and pestle. We're gonna do a taste test in a minute. This is fun. Okay. I'm going to move you guys over to the stove, though, just quickly. And then I actually get to sit down and have my coffee with you for a minute. I want to show you. Oh, we got, oh, wait. Sorry. We got to measure out our pasta. Okay. We're going to do spaghetti noodles. I'll show you your other option. I think we're gonna do spaghetti. Do we have enough spaghetti? Oh yeah, I, no, oh yeah. Did I not buy spaghetti? How did I not have spaghetti? How did you not have spaghetti? Well, I thought we had spaghetti. Hold on. Okay, well, we're not gonna have spaghetti. We'll have it. Oh, perfect. Here's another option. This is great. Okay. Let me show you your options. Okay, let's talk noodles. Noodles and noodles and noodles and noodles. So, I like egg noodles. My my first choice would be spaghetti noodles, okay? Um, just because I just like pesto with spaghetti. I like to swirl my fork. It's my favorite. But second choice, like some kind of spiral pasta. This is good because it holds, it holds the sauce. All right? Or like the bow type pasta would be good. 
maybe even like the rigatoni. Is it called rigatoni? The, the tube ones we have some, but it's got little grooves in it. That, that holds the sauce, okay? Actually, any noodle's gonna work. Even if you have macaroni from your craft box of macaroni and cheese, take it, whatever you got, okay? Um, if you have Del Seco, this is not sponsored by Del Seco, but I, this is my favorite brand, Del Seco. If you have it, get it. If not, get whatever you have, okay? This is bow tie. This is another good um, one for pesto or any kind of sauce, really. Because you see the little, your sauce is going to get in those little folds there. So you're going to get more flavor. And that is noodles. So my question is, what, what do we use? Do we use the twisty ones? Or are we going to go fancy because it's Thursday? Bow tie. I need, I need someone to vote for me. Curly twisties or bow ties? I'll wait. This is not a pop quiz, by the way. No pressure. You're only deciding the fate of our lunch, but it would be nice to have. You like the curly ones. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie, you win. So this lunch is brought to you by Debbie. Thanks, Debbie. Okay, you like the curly ones. We're going to do the curly ones. Now, uh, let's see. Let's get this. this is from our nuts. We can use this one. We're going to measure out how much pasta we need. There's the one. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, now I'm going to use, hold on, how many minutes does this need to, because before, if it, you, you can mix your noodles, that's no worries, but we got to make sure they're the same cooking time. This is nine, no, hold on, how many minutes is this? Well, come on, nine to eleven minutes. This is five to six minutes. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to do this. Case. We're going to do this one. I'm going to open up a new so I'm going to do about a hundred grams per person. So we yeah, are going to do one fifty per person of grams. And the only reason I do that is because my daughter doesn't really eat pesto. She doesn't like these very much, and I don't like them to sit in the refrigerator for too long. So we got about 300 grams of dried pasta. That's for two people. Those are good portions, all right? Um, if there's more, I just keep eating it. So we decided to start measuring out our pasta. We have to, because I cannot be trusted around a big pot of pasta. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna move you guys over. So bear with me. Hello, put on your helmet, fasten your seat belts. Beep, beep. Here we go, move you guys back here, hold on. I need desperately a tripod, a big one. I saw one, actually, I found the one I want to get. It's like a great, it's like a giant one that has a stand on it. And it has like a ring light, all this fancy, although I don't really need a ring light. We've got good light here in the kitchen. I like natural, I like natural light, but. Okay, this is our pot. It's already boiling. Ow. We're going to turn that on, get that boiling again. I'm going to move you guys up for a second. Hold on. Get the pot's eye view because I want to show you something important. Now, while this is boiling, I'm going to get my salt. Now, here's the thing. Now, of course, if you guys are on a sodium restricted diet, that's all, oh, that's a whole never, another ball game. Um, we're, we're, we're not. So I'm going to think about the salt with the, pet, with the pasta. You want it heavily salted, like sea salt. Like, like okay, you're going to be like, what? That's just in the cooking water, okay? You want it like, like, the, like the ocean water, like you are sitting on the beach. You want it like beach water salty, okay? You're going to be draining it off, so don't worry. But you do need to heavily salt it, okay? So we're going to wait for that to get back up to boiling. We're going to pop these in for how many minutes? Six minutes. That's just long enough for me to have my coffee with you guys. So, 
which is already cooling off. Okay, do you guys do this? Okay, can I show you this? Is this gross? No. It's only because me and my husband, we're the only ones who drink coffee here. Okay, do you guys ever do this? Like to re reheat it? Is that gross? I know that's gross. I don't normally drink coffee. I actually just started drinking coffee again two months ago. Don't judge me, okay? We don't have a microwave, so I can't reheat it in the microwave. It's going to go back on the hot plate. I know. I hear you judging me. Don't give me a bad, um, what's that? Welp, Yelp. Don't give me a bad Yelp review, okay? Because I did just pour my coffee back in there to heat up. Don't judge. If you were coming over, I would not do that, okay? Don't panic. It's just me drinking it, actually. My husband's not home. He's going to home later. Okay. I, I see you guys judging me. I see you. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Now, you see it's a nice roll-on boil. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and toss this in. Pour that. I'm good. De Debbie, do you do that? Do you ever do that? I mean, I cannot be the only person who does that. So I'm going to just stir those up, and I'm going to... Now, I'm going to see if this works. I always forget if this works or not. You're going to put your, your um, wooden spoon on top, and it should keep the water from boiling over. Yes, you have. See? Thank you for being honest. We appreciate your honesty. Thank you, Deb. Of course. I mean, why not? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push the timer to six minutes. Okay? That gives us six minutes to drink our coffee because it's hot now. See, I mixed it. Well, it's probably not that hot, but at least it's warmer than it was. So, thanks. You can relate, right? Life is too short to be, you know, we got, we got, there's, there are some things you should be fussy about. I mean, I, you know, I choose my battles. Choose your battles. You have to do what you have to do for hot coffee. Thank you. Somebody gets it. Mm. Okay, we can sit down now. Hold on, I'm going to take you guys over here. Okay, charging your phone and broadcasting at the same time is not working. So we're going to unplug you there. There's too many cables. Okay, so, oh yeah, here, let me show you real quick. Hold on, hold on. We are turning the heat down. That's on high. We're going to turn that baby down to medium. Now, I think that's going to work. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and sit down quick because I don't have long. Before you know it, you're going to hear beep, 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 beep. It's going to be time for me to get up and empty out our, our pasta. Okay, I'm going to have these out of the way. Okay, so Debbie, are you a night owl or are you, is it your morning already? Because I'm thinking, I forget now, Debbie, I think you're up north, aren't you? You're up north, right? Now, if I wasn't talking and doing all this stuff, this would be done in like 50, 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops, all right? I hear somebody? That's my husband, right now. Um, might might be 30 minutes top, so, uh, but I've been talking, but that's not bad, it's 49 minutes, that's not too bad, for shooting the breeze, um, yeah, we're just waiting, so let me clean this up real quick, if it's out of way, because remember, before I forget, okay, because I don't want to lose all of this stuff, so I'm going to actually put a cup of the cooking water in the blender and blend it up. Then I can use that in my pasta. I'm broadcasting. 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 Hey, but look, look at the difference. So we are, I, I, I've already shared with you that, you know. This is mine. You want to taste it? We don't have a competition going on. 
But mine is pretty good. I mean, oh, was that out loud? That was out loud. Sorry. So, pasta's almost ready. Are you hungry? Okay. So, let's see how many minutes. Oh, the pasta's almost done. So, this is what I'm going to do. That's three minutes. I'm going to go ahead. Get my cup ready. This, the, I'm, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, before I before I strain off the pasta, I'm gonna take out a cup of water, okay, of, of the pasta water. Then I'm gonna blend it up in here so I get all that goodness because there's just too much pesto in here to waste. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about cooking in the blender because it's very hard. You lose a lot of product here. So and since this is so delicious. We don't want to uh, to waste it. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Do this another. I mean, cause you this this will last you for a long time. I'm wondering if you even freeze it. Does anybody know? Anybody have any experience? You guys can also comment. You guys watching in the replay? Let me know if you're watching in the replay. And um, can you? Do, do you ever make pesto? That's another question I want to ask you guys. What's your favorite kind of pesto? What, you, what kind of pesto? Have you ever had it? Has anyone ever never never had pesto? That's also possible. Very possible. Very likely. So, what's your favorite kind of pesto if you've ever tried it? <sighs> so, now we wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get that pasta water out then. It's hard for me to sit still if you haven't noticed. Okay, we're going to turn that heat up. Okay, so I have a cup of the pasta water. All right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to, just, I'm going to just pick you up like this. Let's put you over here. Is that right? Is that good? Get my blender. Cause this is I, this is just an idea. I can come up with. So we're gonna see if it works. Oh, that's the pasta. Mm. Yep, I got gotcha. you. I hear you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and strain that off. Nothing really important to see. I'm not gonna add olive oil. You guys add olive oil to your pasta. I'm not doing that because I've, I've got the sauce. Sauce. So I'm gonna pour this cup of pasta water in the blender, just just to kind of rinse out some of that goodness. I don't want to waste it. Do a quick. Okay. Well, that didn't do much. Hold on, don't take off the lid before you open it. Okay. Shake it around. Okay. Now we're gonna take you back over here. Put on your seat belts, please. Okay. Now I'm show you how to do your pesto, okay? Hold on. Okay. Turn the fire off. So here's my here's my pasta. Okay, I'm gonna pour that back in the pan. Oops, hey, that one tried to get away. Now I'm not gonna add olive oil. I see I see a lot of people doing that, but I don't do that because for one, we've already got olive oil in the sauce, and another the sauce doesn't absorb it or stick to the noodles as well if you've got olive oil. That's my opinion. Okay, my spoon. Okay. Can you guys see that all right? Is that good? 
So I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm going to even mix this up and get all that good pot pesto off of that. I don't even want to waste that. Okay, so I've got my pesto that we just made. Give us a big tablespoon like that. We're going to start with that and see how much that, okay? And that's for two people, two portions. If you, oh, look how sticky it is. It's not, oh, well, it's going to blend perfect. But I'm going to go ahead and add. You guys see that? It's just perfectly coating the noodles. Yeah? Oh, it's not. Well, it's not focusing very well, is it? I'm going to add that pasta butter in there. The pasta butter. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm turning on. Here it is. I'm going to add just a little bit. Okay. It makes it kind of like a little saucy. You guys see? And that's enough. A, a heaping tablespoon is plenty. That's all you need. That's it. Okay. You plate it up. Make sure we got equal portions. Um, lights blocking. There we go. And you see at the bottom, it's a little bit saucy because that's from that cooking water. So, oh, hey, Aiden, welcome. I'm about to I'm about to close up here. This is our wild garlic pesto. Hold on, face alert. Hi. Let me see. I'm gonna clean off the lens. I think that's there. It seems it seems foggy. My battery did last. I did come home. It's it's not it's not it's out of focus. I did. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I got home fine and yeah. Um, unfortunately, we didn't. Hey, Jess, welcome, welcome. Oh, you guys are all coming in, and I'm fixing. I'm fixing to go out. Here's our fresh pesto. We're gonna add. Hold on, we get some parmesan. Parmesan, Jess. Good morning. It's lunchtime, guys, so I'm going to close up here, get some fresh parmesan. Oh, my God, guys, it's so delicious. And this is homemade pesto. You can make it yourself. Do it. We're going to test it. Out. Mm. 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 Okay, lunch is ready. This is the Pesto Challenge 2021. It's for my husband. Okay, green leaves I did. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are green. This is the green as it goes. Green as it gets. Okay. Let's do a taste test. And this is one of my favorite foods ever. Mine is better than my husband's. He made pesto earlier this week. It's better. Okay, guys. You did grape leaves? You did dolma. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to check that out. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, guys. I got to go. It's time for lunch. Have a great day. Thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for liking, thumbs up, or hearts, or whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, not stick my finger in your face. <laughs>